now it's time for us to log in. So I'm going to log in and um, you should know what this information is. Um, and then once we're into the computer, we're going to open Media Shout. Usually there's a link up on the desktop that you can double click and open. Um, if for what, some reason there's not, if I've forgotten to put it there, then you can always go to Media Complete. And if you open Media Complete, you'll see the Presentations folder. And you can organize them by date modified, and the most recent one is likely the correct one. But you'll just need to take a look and make sure that that lines up with what's going on. Well, while we're here, why don't we take a minute and turn on the projector. This is the projector remote. There's a lot of remotes in here, but this is the projector one. It says Sanyo. It's silver. Um, always make sure this button on the side is clicked to on. And then you're going to aim it towards the projector, which is hanging in the ceiling of the middle of the room near the propeller. And you can, if you listen very carefully, you probably can't hear it in the video, you can actually hear it turn on. And then it will come up um, and be blue in a moment. And then I'm also going to turn on this rear projection TV that uses a black remote that says rear TV. And it's behind your head in the tech booth. And turn it on. Or if you can't find the remote, you can just simply walk up and hit the power button. So, while we're here, you can see that the projector is turning on. Let's say it comes up and it's not actually displaying anything. You have to look at this QVS knob here and make sure that it's set to Media Shout. Sometimes it's set to Pro Presenter. For our purposes, we need it at Media Shout. Okay, so our Media Shout is up and running. I know that the projector is on now. I'm going to actually fire a slide to test and make sure it's working. So I'm going to click. And sure enough, Hangar 56 came up. Now, what if it doesn't work, though? Then what do you do? Then you follow the steps that are in your tech guide. So the first thing you're going to do is um, you're going to go to screens. And then from screens, you want to make sure that dual screen is clicked. If it's not clicked, then click on that. That optimally will fix the problem. But if it doesn't, then what you're going to do is you're also going to come down here and make sure it says display on secondary monitor. So you've done both of those things. It's still not working. Then you're going to go to Windows Display Properties. Um, and this shows us that this computer is connected to two monitors. This is monitor one. Monitor two is actually the screen. So we're going to click on monitor two. And here's what it should say. It should say generic non-PNP monitor resolution 1024 by 768 orientation landscape. And then the one that is very, very key right here is multiple displays extend these displays. So if it doesn't say that, that's what you'll click and then click OK. And at that point, you can come back to screens, make sure it says dual screen display on secondary monitor 